The rain that we saw yesterday, and we saw a lot of it, is part of research happening at the Shedd Aquarium. Scientists there are studying how extreme weather impacts wildlife in the Chicago River. Climate Watch investigator Tara Molina explains how the sewage that can end up in the river during some of those heavy rains has a long-term impact on fish. Researchers here at the Shedd Aquarium are putting these tiny little trackers inside fish like these walleye living in our river to study the health of our environment. They tell me it's really important right now as our environment fluctuates. Climate change bringing more and more rain to our area. We have at the moment 100 fish that have tags within them. And those tags shout out a unique ID. That's Shedd Aquarium researcher Dr. Austin Happel. His team is using tiny trackers they've implanted in fish in the Chicago River to track their movement. Carp, largemouth bass, and walleye. Why? They tell us aquatic ecosystems tell us a lot about the health of our environment and signal issues early since they're more sensitive to change, like climate change. And with changing weather, meaning more extreme weather and more rain events, a unique issue for the Chicago River, sewer overflows. When we see a lot of rain and the water overwhelms our system, storm and wastewater can mix in the same pipe, sewage ending up in our river. This image shows what the fish in the river do when that happens. They leave and they don't come back. So while those sewage events are happening less frequently, this project showing why it's so important to bolster up infrastructure to prevent sewage from getting in our river. Again, with more extreme weather expected moving forward and the health of our river vital. If a system super species poor, we might see problematic events, like maybe we'll have a bunch more mosquitoes or something like that in the area. I'm trying to understand how do organisms live within this super altered system and how do we make their lives better? Because if restoration works here, it's going to work in any of those other cities that have the rivers flowing from an area into the city and back out. Researchers here at the Shedd Aquarium will tag 70 more fish like these in our river this spring. We'll have more on this project coming up at 6. Reporting inside the Shedd Aquarium, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News Chicago investigator.